Hi everyone, Liz Clean My Care Planetary Manager at the South Carolina State Museum. It's the end of another week, it's the end of another month. And unfortunately, the forecast looks pretty dreary going on into and through this weekend, probably until about Sunday night. So instead of me taking this time to show you all the great and wonderful things that you won't be able to see from in the Columbia area because of all of those pesky clouds this weekend, I thought we would do something fun that doesn't depend on those clouds. So when the skies finally do clear this Sunday night, you should be able to see a waxing gibbous moon high in the south around 9.30 at night. You'll actually be able to see it before then, but that's when it gets to be pretty high up in the sky. It'll be pretty unmistakable. But until then, I thought it would be neat if we just took a little trip over to the moon. We've all been cooped up for a really long time, and I don't know about you, but I could really use a quick little getaway. So let's go. So here we are, it's Sunday night, but instead of standing on the earth, on the surface of the earth, looking out into space, we are out in space, looking back down at the earth. And sunset is about to sweep across the east coast of North America there. We don't really care what the weather is going to do because we are going to turn around and head out into space to the moon. So here we go. Now, if you've ever been to any of the planetarium's live programs, either our regular live skies or our special live programs, this is really similar to what we're able to do with different software under our dome. So we're able to take you to and through the stars and to other worlds. And here we are at the moon, Earth's nearest neighbor in space, Earth's only natural satellite. Now, Earth has many satellites, actually, thousands of them, but they're all man-made except for this one. We have communication satellites, weather satellites, military satellites. There are structures like the International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, lots of things that people created and built and put in orbit around the Earth. But this is our only natural satellite, our moon, and we're really lucky to have it because there are planets like Mercury and Venus that don't have a moon. But then there are planets like Jupiter and Saturn, which have about 80 moons, which seems to be kind of excessive. But we have our one nice moon here. And this is what's called a waxing gibbous moon. Gibbous just describes the shape that it currently has. And waxing just means that as the days go by and the moon goes around in its orbit, we're going to see more and more of the lit side as it heads towards full. And it'll be full at the end of next week. And it looks like only one chunk of the moon is lit up by the sun, but actually half of the moon is lit up at any one time. So to see that here, we're going to take a little trip over this way and just go around this edge of the moon here so that we can fully see all of the daylit side. So here we are. Looks pretty different, doesn't it? That's because this part of the moon is more what we're used to seeing. This is part of the moon that's on the near side that faces us at all times. And then this part of the moon that we're looking at right now is on the far side of the moon, the side that faces away from us. Now the moon is actually rotating. There's a misconception out there that the moon doesn't spin or doesn't rotate, but it actually is doing so. As the moon goes around the Earth, it is very, very slowly turning at the same rate that it's going around the Earth, and that keeps the same face towards us at all times. And so this is more how we're used to seeing the moon. And when we gaze upon the moon, we can see a rich and varied landscape. There are those smooth, dark patches called maria. They're basically ancient lava flows where volcanic activity resulted in lava that flowed across the surface and repaved it, smoothed it over. And they have names. This is the Sea of Serenity up here, the Sea of Tranquility. These are hundreds of miles across. We have the Sea of Crises over here. We have the Sea of Fertility. And down here, the Sea of Nectar. Now, they're not actually seas. It's just that people who looked at the moon a long time ago thought that these dark patches were so smooth that they resembled bodies of water, even though there's no standing water on the surface of the moon. 
And there's also lots of craters, there's valleys and mountain ranges, lots of really awesome geological features to look at. And if you have a pair of, tele a pair of binoculars or a telescope, definitely take them out, point them at the moon, and you definitely won't be disappointed. You can also check out one of our observatory's live streams. Sometimes they point one of our telescopes at the moon, and if you don't have access to your own telescope, um, that's a way that you can view the moon through one. But the moon is beautiful to look at with or without a telescope. And this is actually all the time we have to spend at the moon, so we're going to go ahead and head home here, turn our sights back towards Earth, head back towards home. Once again, this is going to be Sunday night. We'll go ahead and land on the surface of the Earth here. So this is Sunday night at 9.30. And thank you so much for taking this quick trip to the moon with me here this week um, to show you that that moon that you're looking at there really is a waxing gibbous. I'll go ahead and zoom up on it so you can see that up close because it looks kind of like a blob in the software right here. So there it is, and I hope that you'll be able to enjoy it at some point this weekend. And I am excited to share that along with the museum, the planetarium will be opening next week to the general public. So we are really excited to be able to take you to amazing places through space and across the earth in our dome. And until then, take care of yourselves and others and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend despite what the weather does. So bye bye for now. Hope to see you again soon.